so far uh, we discussed uh, these transformations today i am going to explain some other transformations total we have 14 transformations so far we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh, 6 more down there I am going to explain Joiner transformation. Joiner transformation is an active transformation and it is mainly used to combine data from multiple sources. Both the union and the joiner are used for same purpose to combine data from multiple sources. But union is a row level concatenation whereas joiner is a column level concatenation in order to join two tables you should have at least one common column then only you can join join multiple sources like oracle here also we have different types of joins in informatica or center tool. we have normal join master router join detail outer join and full outer join a normal join means uh, matching rows come from both the sources I am going to show with an example how it looks beginner join correct connecting to my source select star no? then you can see list of tables under this user here I am creating one table create table table name is dept d number number d name I am inserting some rows into this table. Insert into table name values. So, insert into table name values. Insert into table name values. Pair. So here my requirement is I want to know employee belongs to which department name. See here 100 salary 2000 department number 10. By using only this table single table EMP DEPT can I inform or employee belongs to which department name? No. Why because here department name information is not there. Only you have department number. Okay. So you have another table DEP. You based on this table only, can you inform the employee belongs to which department name? No. So if you combine these two tables, then only you can tell. So Ravi 100 salary 2000 working in department number 10. So if you take this department number and take DPT table department number and then you can get the D name. So now you can tell Ravi is working in sales department. Similarly, 101 Vinay, salary 3000, working in department number 20. So, which department name? So, you need to join with DP table 20. Then you can get finance. So, here I am going to join these two tables based on department number. First of all, I will show you normal join. Normal join means 
matching records from both the sources. What are the matching records here? Department numbers 10, 20. You will get only these four rows as output. Along with that, you will get DNAME also. Why? Because 30 is not available in the EPT table, you won't get. 40 is also not available in the EPT table, you won't get. Only matching rows. So, first of all, I am connecting to target. So, here I am creating a table. EMP underscore DNA. Supply number. Number. DNA. Dark capital. Okay. Salary. Number. DNA. Number. DNA. Dark capital. So here I have two sources, here BDEPT, DEPT and my target table is EMP DNA. Along with the department number information, employee is working in which department name also you need to get. Any questions so far? First of all, I am going to use normal join. Normal join means matching rows. From both the sources. So here, what is the join condition we are going to use? D number. This is the common column in both the tables. So for any task, we have three steps. First one is creation of mapping. Second one, creation of session. Third one is creation of workflow or use the existing workflow. So first, correct all programs, Informatica, Client, Power Center Design. Now double click on repository, enter the user ID and password. Now double click on your folder. Here our first step is creation of mapping. In order to create a mapping, we need to verify whether our source and targets are ready or not. Spend sources. So what is our sources here? We have two sources, EMP, DPT and DPT. So here EMP DPT there, DPT is not available. I am going to import DPT. For that one, select source analyzer tool. From the menu bar, select sources, import from database. Enter the password. Click on. So select DPT. Click on. Repository. Now my both sources are available. What about targets? What is my target here? EMP D name. My target is not available here, so I need to import target also using target designer tool. From the menu bar, select targets, import from database. Enter the password. Click on. Now my sources and targets are ready. I can create a mapping using mapping designer tool. Select mapping designer from the menu bar. Select mappings. Click on create. M underscore joiner underscore test. Whatever the name you want, you can click on. So from the navigation bar, select your sources. We have EMP DPT is one source, another one is DPT source. What about target? We have only one target. Let me just
any questions so far? Now I am going to create join a transformation here. From the menu bar, select transformation, click on create. Then it opens create transformation dialog box. Here you need to select the joiner. Enter the name. Whatever the name you want, you can give, but Informatica recommend the standard for joiner transformation is you should start with the JNR. Followed by description. Click on create. So whenever you are using joiner, you need at least two sources. So here you have two sources. Here, one we need to consider it as master, one we need to consider it as detail. Here, question is, which one we need to consider it as master and which one we need to consider it as detail. A source having less number of rows, we need to consider it as master. A source having huge number of rows, we need to consider it as detail. Why we need to take like that? Even if you take in opposite direction, the output is same. If you take less number of rows as master, the performance is high. Internally, it creates a cache. Cache is nothing but temporary memory area where it can hold data. So if you want to build a cache for less number of rows, it will be quicker or fast. If you go for huge number of rows, it will take more time to build the cache itself. So that's why we always prefer to go less number of rows as master. So here, whatever the source first you drag into the joiner, it will take as by default detail, detail source. So drag it. See here, source type detail. Whatever you drag first, it will take as detail. So department table I have taken as master. Why? Because less number of rows. For a single department, you can see multiple rows. So D number, D name, drag it. So already D number there, automatically it has taken as D number one. See. Any questions so far? In case of more than two? More than two, you, you cannot uh, go for uh, it's a single joiner. You need to go for another joiner. So if you want to join three sources, what you need to do, you need to create another joiner. For that joiner, inputs are this joiner and another source point. I will show you at the end. With the help of joiner, you can join only two sources. You cannot join more than two sources. Double click on joiner. Go to condition tab. So here you need to provide the join condition. How you are going to join these two sources. Here I can with the add a new condition. D number one is equal to D number go to properties tab. So here you can see join tag. By default normal join we have a different joins. Master after detail after full out. I will explain one by one. So first I am going to use apply select all the ports drag it under any questions so far? Repository. So now my first step is completed creation of mapping. Second step is creation of session. Select workflow manager tool. Select task developer tool. From the menu bar, select task, click on create. Enter the session. Whatever the name you want, you can do, but informatic recommendation is just underscore. Now. Click on then it will show list of mappings under your folder. Select the required mapping. Click on okay. Click on. As usual, we need to do relational connections. One second.
So here I am going to give relational connections. Double click on the session. Go to mapping tab. So here you have two sources. We need to give connections for both the sources. Target, view target connection. Click on upload. Repository. Now select workflow design. Expand sessions folder. Select your session trying to repository. Select your session, right click three options. See here one source, three rows order, another source. Six rows set total four loss will be loaded. See here only matching rows loaded. Department number ten sales twenty finance. So you did not get thirty applies. Restore rows you did not get. So, so you do that. Any questions on normal join? Here my requirement is like this. <clears throat> I want to load all employees. Whether the department name is available or not doesn't matter to me. I want to know list of all employees. If already department is assigned, I want to know that department name. Otherwise, I want to display other employees also. Then we will go for master router join. Master router join means normal join plus non-matching rows from detail. We need to remember in opposite direction. Non-matching rows from detail. So master router join. So normal join means again you will get this one. For master auto joiners plus additional thing non matching rows from detail. What are the non matching rows? These two are the non matching rows. So for these two rows, D, D name come as null. In Oracle, we call it as outer joins left outer, right outer, full outer, like that. Here, master outer, detail outer, full outer. So we will get these two rows along with that department name. We can see now. Any questions? So double click on joiner, go to properties tab, change normal join to master router join. Click on apply. Repository. Now you need to refresh your session. Whenever you do the changes in the mapping, first you need to save it. After that, you need to refresh your session. So here already data there. You can manually truncate or go for truncate target table option in the session level. Double click on the session. Go to mapping tab. Select your target. And here you can select truncate target table option. Click on apply. Click on apply. Repository. Save. Now select workflow designer. Select your session, right click, start task. Now see six rows loaded. Earlier only four rows loaded. Normal join. Now 
normal join plus non matching rows two rows four plus two total six rows now you can check in the database as well This is normal join output, first four rows, plus non-matching rows from detail. There is no department name for that, so you can see now that. Any questions on master auto join? Okay. Now my requirement is changed. I want to know list of all departments in my business whether employee is assigned to a particular department doesn't matter to me if assigned I want to know all the employees under a particular department even no employee is assigned to a particular department I want to know that department so then you need to get 40 payroll no employees are there in this department So here we need to go for detail outer join. Detail outer join means normal join plus non-matching rows from master opposite direction. Non-matching rows from master. So here normal join means anyway you will get these four rows. And then non matching rows from master. What is the non matching row from master? You will get only 40 pairs. Okay. Detail outer join means normal join plus non matching rows from master. Any questions? Go to properties tab. So here join type change to detail outer join. Click on apply. Click on. Repository. Whenever you do the changes in the existing mapping, first you need to save it. After that, you need to refresh your session. Click. Repository. Select your session, right click, start this. See here, 6 rows, 3 rows, red, total 5 rows only loaded into the target. Normal join, 4 rows. Non matching rows from master, only 1 row. Total 5 rows. See why you did not get 40? 40 you should get, right? 40 per hour. Go to matter. What happened? You see. You have connected detail code. You need to connect master code. What is the definition of detail outer join? Normal join plus non matching rows from master. So you need to connect this port, master port. Then you will get what? Any questions? Repository, save, refresh your session. Select your session, right click, start task.
see here again five rows loaded now check normal join plus non matching rows for next See, 40 pair of so, This is normal join. And the non matching rows from So, there are no employees for 40 pair of the Any questions so far? What is full order join? Full order join means. Normal join plus non matching rows from both master and retail. Normal join plus non matching rows from both master and retail. Total you will get normal join means four rows you are getting. Non matching rows from master 1 row 5, non matching rows from detail 2. Total you will get 7 rows as output. So this is just like a union? Not union. See, union is a row level concatenation. This is a column level concatenation. If you observe, right? If you observe normal join also, mm -hmm. so you are not uh, combining data from mm -hmm. both the sources. See, this is column level. Okay. Okay, got it. This union means here you will get row level. Okay, so based on our requirement, we go for union or uh, joiner. So you want data to be added if the number of columns are same in both the sources, then only you go for union. If columns are different and you want to match some other data from some other table, then you go for joiner. Clear? Yep, yep. So you can uh, do R and D on your set full order join. So just select full order join and uh, you will see total seven rows normal join plus non matching rows from both master and detail. So once you practice, let me know if you are facing any issues with full order join. Here I want to join three sources. How I can do that? Join or transformation at a time you can join only two sources. You cannot join more than two sources. So in that case, I will drag one dummy source. So here what I am going to do is I am going to add one more joiner. So for this joiner, what are the inputs? This is one input. Uh, one joiner and then another joiner. Correct. Means joiner one plus the uh, new input. Or means new. Correct. So for this joiner, what are the inputs? Another joiner and another source qualifier but I mean which one needs to be as like a master the so, less number of rows is from the bottom right no? yeah it depends if the table itself not you should, you should not see the columns you should see the rows maybe this uh, table contains one crore rows this table contains hundred rows then you need to go for this as master depends on the number of rows not on number of columns then uh, suppose when creating the mapping we don't have idea about the data how much data is coming for both the rows Mm -hmm. uh, then how can you decide which one should be master or which one should be the Ideally you should have. Okay. Ideally you should have. Why? Because your source data is already available. Just you can compare. Mm -hmm. Count of stuff. Okay. 
if in the worst case if you don't have knowledge on that one then go for anyone has master anyone has teacher there is no other option your output is not going to change only performance degrades then future you can change in interviews also they will ask a question uh, how many joiner transformations are required if i want to join five sources then you need four joiners if you want to join n sources n minus 1 joiner transformations are required so generally we go for uh, a joiner if you want so not only tables you can join flat file flat file flat file table table flat file so any combination any type of sources you can join using joiner transformation any questions on joiner uh, where we see this uh, performance uh, you know tuning or uh, performance uh, calculation how much time it takes so you can see throughput in the monitor itself it will write right see uh, the session is going to run see here it is executed in uh, 4 seconds it is going to execute some sessions 1 hour or more than 1 hour generally we don't encourage to run any session in real time more than 1 hour see here it will show the timings based on the timings you can tell huh. performance is low or high okay. and also you can observe throughput number of rows read from source or uh, target number of rows written in a second ideally uh, we should uh, see high throughput for any session then the performance is high so based on the timing you can uh, decide whether you have to tune or you are okay with that in real time they will give sls sls means service level agreements so they want to see the report by this time before that uh, time your load should complete so they have given 8 am uh, est is your slm so before 8 am by maybe 7 or 7 30 you have to complete the loads if the time is exceeding then you have to tune any questions other interview questions on this topic uh joiner uh, generally when we go for joiner they will ask and what are different types of joins here what is master and what is detail uh, what are the optimization techniques for joiner we have two optimization techniques one is uh, you need to take less number of rows as master and the other one huge number of rows as detail another optimization technique is sorted input i will explain that one in the uh, performance joiner Oh, I'm going to another transformation normalizer. Normalizer transformation is an active transformation and it is mainly used to convert columns to rows. Suppose my data is like this. I have a business sales. Hundred dollars in first quarter, two hundred dollars in second quarter, three hundred dollars and four hundred dollars in quarter. Here I have four columns: quarter one amount, quarter two amount, quarter three amount, quarter four amount. One second. So here I have uh, sales business data like this: quarter one amount hundred dollars, quarter two amount two hundred dollars, quarter three amount three hundred, and quarter four four hundred. I want to output like this: sales hundred dollars quarter one, sales two hundred dollars quarter two, sales three hundred dollars quarter three, sales two hundred dollars quarter four. If you observe here, a row containing multiple columns converting to multiple rows. 
in such cases we go for normalize the transformation suppose if you have two rows in the source you will get total eight as output rows i'm going to show with an example how to use this normalizer in real time the usage of normalizer is very less is it only uh, columns to rows or rows to columns columns to rows right in a row you can see multiple columns those multiple columns only were converting to multiple rows yeah okay so that's why we call it as columns to rows we don't call it as rows to columns see you have one row so you are converting to how many columns here no right your output is different okay i mean if i have like a, a data like a bottom 100 200 300 in a individual rows mm -hmm. if i want to convert that into multiple columns mm -hmm. is that possible here? then you need to go for uh, there is no transformation for that you need to go for expression first and within the expression you need to use variable ports and you need to concatenate present row with previous row and then you need to send uh, that expression data to aggregator and uh, by default aggregator return last row from each group last row contains all concatenated values again after aggregator you need to use expression and you need to apply substring then you will get different values and you can connect to target Wow, <laughs> yeah. Here I am connecting to source. So let's start from. So here I am creating a table. Create table. Nam underscore is business. Quarter one amount. Number. Quarter two amount. Number. Quarter three amount. Number. Quarter four amount. So this is my source. I'm going to insert some records into. Start from num underscore s. This is your source. Now I am connecting to target. Here creating a table. Num underscore t. Business. So here my source is num underscore s and my target is num underscore t. I want to convert uh, these columns to rows. So total you will get eight rows. For first row you have four columns. Those four columns we are converting to four rows. Second row we have four columns. Again those four columns we are converting to four rows. Four plus four total eight rows. Any questions so far? For any task we have three steps. First one is creation of mapping. Second one, creation of session. Third one is creation of workflow or use the existing workflow. So first step is creation of mapping. In order to create a mapping, we need to verify whether our source and targets are ready or not. So what's our source here? Nam underscore yes. My source is not available. I need to import. What about target? Nam underscore t. My target is also not there, so I need to import both sources and targets. In order to import the source, we need to use source analyzer tool. From the menu bar, 
select sources import from repository similarly need to import the target using target design targets import from not so target here norm underscore t repository Now my source and targets are ready. I can create a mapping using mapping design at tool. From the menu bar, select mappings, click on create option. M underscore, norm underscore, test. Whatever you want, you do. Click on it. From the navigation bar, select your source, drag it into workspace. Similarly, your target. Any questions so far? Now I am going to create normalizer transformation here. From the menu bar, select transformation, click on create option. Then it opens create transformation dialog box. Here you need to select normalizer. Enter the name. Whatever the name you want, you can do. But in format correct menu standard for normalizer is you should start with NRF. Followed by description. Click on create. So generally, if you want to create uh, ports, generally we go for ports tab. But under normalizer transformation, we go for normalizer tab. So double click on normalizer. Go to normalizer tab. So here one icon is there. You can see. Add a new column to this table. So based on my target, I am going to add columns here. So I have three columns in my target business amount quarter. Quarter is a sequence of numbers one two three four. Anyway, normalizer provides sequence also. So you need not create a quarter column. So what are the remaining columns? You need to create business and amount. Okay. So I am going to create those two columns. So first one is business. Second one is amount. Create it. So here important thing is occurs class. How many columns you want to convert to how many rows? I want four columns to convert to four rows. So then select occurs class. So here what you are changing amounts. Four amounts you are changing to four rows. So for amount column give occurs class four. Then automatically it will create input output ports. It will create four inputs. In order to take uh, these four Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 amounts, and it creates one output port for business also. It creates only one output port, one input port. So why? Because we haven't defined a cost class for business. So we have defined a cost class only for amount. Any questions so far? If you want to convert three columns to three rows, select a cost class three. If you want to convert five columns to five rows, select a cost class five. Click on apply. Click on it. Now you can see automatically all input output ports. See, we have defined occurs class four. See, in one, in two, in three, in four. So here connect business to business. Remaining Q one, Q two, Q three, Q four amounts. And output ports also see. Business to business, amount to amount, 
so here automatically whenever you define actors class on a particular port automatically these two ports comes gk amount gc id amount here we have defined uh, actors class on amount field so that's why you can say gk amount gc id gk amount means generated key value that means it gives continuous sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like that gc id amount means generated character id amount it repeats the sequence based on actors class 1 2 3 4 again 1 2 3 4 again 1 2 3 4 so based on your requirement you want continuous sequence or you want 1 2 3 4 then you need to select either gk amount or gc id amount so here i want to display quarters so first four rows 1 2 3 4 next four rows also i want 1 2 3 4 so then go for gc id amount if you want continuous sequence 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 go for gk amount what about if I want to display the same column name? What column name? I mean, there is a part. I'll go back to that uh, uh, sequence. Uh, right? mm -hmm. Here we have a column name Q1 underscore AMD, right? Mm -hmm. Q2 underscore AMD. Mm -hmm. Can I give that? Where you want to display? So what is your output? So, in 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you need to use expression and concatenate. You cannot directly give here. So why? Because you can give only one thing, amount column. See, in the normalizer, if you observe output ports, you cannot do like that. See, we have given only one amount. It directly connects that amount only. So what you need to do? So in that case, so first after once after using that normalizer, next step we need to join with the expression and change those, right? So yeah, after normalizer, you need to connect expression. You need to connect sequence generator also to expression. And if the value is first, then assign Q1. If the second row is like that, then again Q2 concatenate. So you need to use uh, sequence generator and expression combination. In the expression you need to concatenate see you are getting one two three four values you need to concatenate q1 q2 q3 q4 for that value one after that you can connect to target directly you cannot get any questions repository So, our first step is completed. Second step is creation of session. Select task output. From the menu bar, select tasks, click on enter the session. S underscore, M underscore, M underscore test. Click on. Then it will show a list of mappings under your folder. Select your mapping. Now we need to give relational connections. The session creation process is same for every method. We need to give relational connections for both sources and targets. This is a common step. Double click, go to mapping tab. Connections. For source, you have source ID. Select target. And give target connection. Click on apply. First try. Now select workflow design. So first two steps are completed. Creation of mapping, creation of session. First step is creation of workflow or use the existing workflow. Select your session, drag it onto workspace. Repository. Select your session, right click, start. See here, two rows convert into eight rows. 
now you can check in the database as well select star from Sales 100, 200, 300, 400, 120. Again, finance. So, here my requirement is changing. Instead of quarter, I want to display, instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, I want to display continuous sequence. Then, what you need to do? Any questions so far? So, here. Remove this port, just select the link and delete button. Okay. Repository. Whenever you do the changes in the mapping, first you need to save it. After that, you need to refresh your session. Right click. Already data there. So you can enable truncate targeting option. Double click on this. Go to mapping tab. So here you need to give the target target. Apply. Repository. Now select workflow. Select your session. Right click three options. See here, two rows, thread from source, total eight rows loaded into the target. Now you can check in the database. Search star from one on this point. See, it doesn't multiply. When you rerun, what happens? You see, this time rerunning. So I am disabling. Truncate target as well. option. Why there is a break like after is it because of data is more than 10? This one, no? Huh? Mm, uh, yes, table structure is created twice now, the same table structure. By default, uh, uh, in SQL Plus, they define some uh, default case size. So after case size completes, again header will start. That's it. If you change the case size, uh, it won't come like that. Any questions on normalizer transformation? Okay, in the next class, I will explain some other transformations. Yeah, this is one question. Yeah, so, I mean, not related to this, mm -hmm. but every time we are using uh, any kind of like uh, at least one transformation, right? Mm -hmm. So is it a way we can directly, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, what is it, combine or connect from source to destination directly without using it?